So I take the zirconia abutment, and I'm going to put the zirconia abutment on the X of the implant to engage it to the X of the implant. So I take the zirconia abutment, rotate it inside, push it to the place, and then it's a unigrip. I'm going inside and close and place it to the place. And close it to the desired torque. And after it's on the place, we can check and see if we have the right position on the apartment. So please close the mouse play. We can see that we can adjust a little bit the upper part of the occlusion. I can do it even on the mouse. We have a position that we want to have this position because this position will give us exactly the space that we need for building the crown to have more aesthetic and to support whatever we need to support. So now after the abutment is placing in the place, what we want to do is to put the wax inside the holes because we don't want the acryl going inside. So I'm going to place the wax in. So I'm going here and I'm going to take a little bit of acryl and just place it on the upper part. I don't want to put acryl that will come in contact with the bone and give it the right position that I want. I'm going slowly here, giving the direction that I want, and I'm going to wait a little bit. Now we're going to, after the first set of the acryl, we take it out. Let's wash it a little bit so you can see here. So you can see here that the acryl You can see here that the acryl is not rich, the bone on the buccal plate. Here we have more down, but we don't know exactly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out the abutment. Then I go with this instrument yeah, inside, with the unigrip, and open. Open the abutment, take the abutment out. I take an implant or, or, or implant replica, whatever you like. And I put this abutment inside and close it. I don't need to close it strong. And now I'm going to take it, see the buccal in the lower part, and put it inside this position. What I see now that I'm very far away from the bone. And now it will be very easy for me to match it. I saw the mouse, the hernia cube, and to give him the right form that I want to give him. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the acryl and placing it inside, be sure that it's going on the line, as you see here. Now we can adjust the acryl and to adjust the emerging profile. So we see now the crown that is matched perfectly to the line that we put of the abutment. So when we place it together, it's a perfect fit all around. So we know that we will not have problem of matching and we have a full emergent profile that's coming out 
from this abutment and the implant neck. Okay, we're going to take the abutment, put it put it to the place. Now after we see that the crown is matched very nicely, we take the crown, we put back the abutment, and we take the crown, we just position it, we know that it's perfect fit, and now close please, come forward with it is, forward more, 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 we see that we don't have a contact, there's no contact, go backward, okay, is free from the palatinal, so for me, it's a good now, it's a perfect. And uh, of course we can send it to lab but make it to be more nice aesthetic and more beautiful. But as I mentioned before, I like open place. I like to have space and to make it very little, to have more gingiva. And later on, when I have the gingiva, I'm going to push it back.